You seem so interested. Could you tell me? Was it real or was it all in my head? Was it real or was it all in my head? Yo, what's going on, guys? It's King Touch Pro, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create very easy and simple typography just using Final Cut Pro 10. And I hope this video isn't too hard. What we're going to be creating is what you just saw in the beginning of this video clip or this tutorial, I guess. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go onto the text here and go on to all. And then I like to just go with the basic title. Now you can go with blur and it just creates this really nice effect here. But uh, personally, I just go with basic title and add my own transitions in the end. So I'm going to drag that there and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on here. And now you really want to pay attention to when she starts to sing. Normally by looking at the uh, timeline here with the thumbnail preview, but normally in the audio file. So if I go ahead and play it from the beginning, let me go ahead and just render this out. Let me go ahead and push play. So I think she starts right here where she starts to say you. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the text and I'm going to type in you. And then you want to do this for every single word she says. Now, it's going to be a very long process. But let me tell you, once you finish, it's going to be a masterpiece. Let me tell you that, okay? So we have this right here. And we're going to go ahead and change the font. But I'm going to go for the font that is called Luna. And I will leave a link for you guys to download in the description. It is for free. All right, so it's really slow. And that's because I'm recording. But uh, you want to play the audio or play the video, I guess. And then whenever she starts to say another word, that's when you add another title what I like to do is just copy the the actual title or the text so I'm going to push play again so she actually starts in the very beginning and right here she says seam so right here actually if I can zoom in so I'll command V will paste it and then type in seam now I don't like to to make the first letter you know capitalized just because it makes it more unique and simple so let's see so Alright, so right here she says seam. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just increase the size here. So go to text in the inspector window, select the text, go to size and increase it just like that and then move it to wherever you want. Now right now it looks like this, but we're going to add a transition towards the end. Because if you, add, if you start adding transitions when you're editing and adding all of the text, Final Cut Pro 10 will literally overload and it will, might even crash just because there's a lot of stuff happening. And then what I'm going to do is just start dragging the bottom text over onto the next text so it stays uh, until the duration of the next text, if that makes any sense. So now we have seam. So I'm going to drag seam right below uh, U right here. Sometimes you have to double like click once and then click again and then that will allow you to move it. Final Cut Pro 10 is very weird. I just wish it was more fast. Now, if it's slow for you, just go onto View and change it uh, the quality to better performance if it's on better quality. That will just speed up some things. And then she says, so. And then we want to go ahead and drag this wherever we want. Now, the key to this is just to kind of make it balanced and trying to keep it uh, proportional to the actual... Um, screen so wherever there's more more space like on the right side that's where you want to add the text obviously you don't want to add text wherever their face is or where whatever they're holding in this case she's holding a guitar so you don't want to put the text right on there so i'm going to push play again so. so right there she says so right here so and then she says interested you seem so inter and then we have interested now i like to make the last word that she says a little bit bigger just because it makes it more it gives it a, a, a more of an emphasis if that makes any sense so i'm going to drag interested right here i believe i can see so like right there would be good and i'm going to drag that back drag this one over here so it should look something like this okay you seem so interested so right here is where we actually want to stop it so we're going to drag that onto here and do the same thing for there. Okay. So like that and then like that. So now we will go want to go ahead and render this one more time. So modify and render all. Please play you again. Seems so interested. All right. So now once we finish that, we're going to start on the next text and it's very simple. Just copy the first one that you did 
and paste it on wherever she starts to sing again. So right here. Could you tell me was so we're going to type in. Now, whenever she starts like a new sentence, I guess, you want to capitalize the first letter uh, just because it makes it, it just makes it flow a little bit better, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this kind of to the left here like that. And then let's see. Could you tell so right here, we're going to create the next one. And then she says, you, actually. <laughs> Look, it's already done for us. So we're going to go ahead and drag that kind of down, like right here. Because I'm going to add tell right there. And I'm going to paste that again because we have it copied. Double click on the text. Type in whatever she says next. And click off of it. And we're going to go ahead and make this smaller. So we're going to decrease the size of the text here. So like right there. So now if we push play. Could you tell me? Tell me. So right here is where she's going to start to say me. So command V to paste the next word. And uh, it, should up, it should bring up the text panel in the inspector. And then type in me. I want to click off of it. Move the word wherever you want to put it. I kind of like to make it kind of like this kind of flow down. If you're going to be working with the first text right here, wherever she starts to sing again, you want to make uh, work your way up just to make it flow. It makes it look nice, especially with the transition. It just looks really, really good. Could you tell me? So now she stops singing her last sentence, I guess. So I'm going to cut to wherever she stops uh, singing that last sentence. Now, I'm not going to do the whole thing, and that's because it's just going to take a very long time. And then now, what I like to do, of course, is to add the transition. Now, I want to make this, this whole entire font, or all of this group of text here, kind of zoom in. So what I want to do, instead of going to each single text and going on to video and increasing the size or adding keyframes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight all of it, right-click, and then go on to New Compound Clip. And this will just gather everything and kind of nest it together like in ScreenFlow. It just puts all of the all of the text and all the files in one single clip. So I'm just going to type in uh, text 2. So just render it before you do anything. So now it's rendered. And everything is still the same, but it's just grouped together. So now what you want to go ahead and do is just go to the transitions. Go on to dissolves and go to cross dissolve. This is like the best transition, I guess, in my personal opinion in Final Cut Pro. So just drag that on here. Now, this is not going to add a transition to each of the word just because it's grouped all together and it just only adds a transition to all of the text in the beginning and in the end. So now if we push play, Could you tell me? it just does that Could and it's really, really me? nice. And it kind of speeds some things up, but I think the other way looks a little bit nicer just because it kind of flows better with her voice and her tone and the guitar. Now we want to go ahead and start to increase the, her um, or the font here. Let me go ahead and zoom in here because let me zoom this out and then go to video. Make sure you start the transition or the uh, cursor at the very beginning of the group and then go to scale. Click the little plus icon to add a transition. Go to the end and increase it a little bit. Not too much. Um, depending on her voice and her tone and the way and how, how fast she's uh, singing. So render it again. So now if we push play. Could you tell me? So you have that really nice, uh, it kind of zooms out kind of from her voice. Now I kind of want to make, kind of go for that look. So what you want to do is just go on here, go to the transform, click on this, and you should be able to kind of position it to wherever you want. Now, whenever you zoom, zoom in or add a trend or add a scale, it is going to kind of cut off depending how big the text is. So you want to kind of move it closer to the middle of the video or depending wherever she's singing. So now if I push play, it's going to look a lot better. Could you tell me? So it looks really nice, very simple. Now the other way that I like to do is just to add an actual transition to each of the text. So I just go to cross dissolve. Now this is where you want to change the clip appearance because the more layers you have, the more it's going to, the height is, is going to increase. So I just go with this just because I really don't need to see the video once you're finished, I would assume. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that on there, drag that on there, and drag that on here as well. Okay, so now if we push play, this is what it's going to look like. You seem so interested. So it's a little bit different from this one here. It, it adds a transition to all of the text instead of all together at once. Me personally, I like the one with all of the group just because it flows better, I guess. 
because it's more uniform. Okay, so if I push play. You seem so interested. Could you tell me? See, there's so there's different kind of kind of it kind of sets the uh, the mood for it. So now, of course, you want to keep on going, keep doing the same thing, and I mean that's pretty much it. You just want to keep doing that. Now, depending how long the video is, the more it's gonna take. But just keep that in mind. Uh, but I mean, if you found this video helpful in any way, please drop a like. That would mean so much to me. And uh, leave a like if you also want to see more videos like this, or comment down if you have any video ideas. I'm really too. I'm really open for any suggestions so leave them in the comment section below subscribe if you haven't and i will catch you guys on my next video until then peace out take care and enjoy your day